All right. Bring us mom some good weather, Anthony. Yeah, things are looking. <laughs> I've been working on that all week That's long. That's so not fair for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, the mothers, I yeah. think they're going to be happy. Okay. Uh, we got some spring showers uh, for the flowers to bring to mom on Sunday. So those spring showers are going to be uh, arriving here for tomorrow. So if you have any early Saturday morning plans, uh, again, it's going to start on a damp note. Mm -hmm. But for this evening, things are looking absolutely clear. <gasps> Check Look at this. That. Out. Yeah, the sun wow. is setting. I mean, just vibrant colors. Wait, where where are we? <laughs> is that Hawaii? No, it's Edgewater Beach. Yeah. And we Gorgeous. got a spectacular light show right now. You know, I feel kind of feel kind of bad for those people who spent thousands of dollars going to Iceland and Scotland and Northern Europe <laughs> and all that. Just could have stayed here and watch the Northern Lights. But again, perfect evening to get out and do some outdoor activities. Of course, sand volleyball season is just around the corner as well. We're talking about the mothers. Here's a preview of what to expect for your Sunday, 63 degrees, and that's sort of where we were topped out at for this afternoon. 64 officially recorded from Hopkins Airport, so almost a copy and paste forecast on the way for Sunday. But we got to talk a quick round of showers, maybe even some thunderstorms on the way for Saturday morning, rain right into the early afternoon. Brighter skies will be trending once we get beyond uh, this damp weather. And really, the rain chances are really going to crank up for us as we head beyond daybreak for tomorrow and all throughout mid morning, rain to the early afternoon, folks. Where we have a clipper system to talk about this late in the season, but it's going to ring another round of heavy rainfall. And look at this, folks, in the upper Great Lakes, just seeing the evolution of it over the past three hours. It's picking up a lot of steam and a lot of energy from the upper Great Lakes. And already producing some heavy downpours and check it out as we go throughout time here. Yeah, we're looking at a decent wave of heavy rainfall arriving throughout the morning. Now the center of this low is going to be hanging out just to the north and it's going to pick up a more lake enhanced moisture. So more scattered chances of showers on the way as we head through throughout the early afternoon. Here's your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. Eight o'clock rain is right on our doorsteps, especially for us out to the west. Alaria down in Mansfield picking up a south breeze still on the chilly side with temperatures in the lower 50s around eight o'clock, nine o'clock right on top of the metro and an I-77 corridor. Some yellow showing up, some moderate rainfall is going to be a possibility if you have any early morning plans. Approaching uh, lunchtime tomorrow, most of the widespread stuff is already crossing over the state lines, so we're picking up a northwest wind. So typically we mean uh, when we have a northwest wind across the uh, Lake Erie, we're looking at some lake enhanced rain showers. And so some of these showers could be packing some heavy downpours, even some pea sized hail, given the upper dynamics of what's going to be happening with that low pressure system hanging out for us. Partly cloudy skies throughout your early Saturday morning, Sunday morning. Then by Sunday afternoon, departing cloud coverage. Sunny skies on the way, temperatures warming up into the lower 60s. We'll catch a break Sunday. We're talking more rain chances by late Monday into early Tuesday. Here's your Union Home Mortgage 10 day outlook. A south breeze blow back in Monday. Highs approaching the upper 70s, low 60s, and rain chances by Tuesday. Lena? Awesome. Thanks so much, Anthony.